Good morning, folks. We're going to take a look at the sun, as always. We've had a bigger earthquake to report as well, and we've got just one top science article to share today on the impact of hypomagnetic fields on human physiology. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. The lull in activity continues. We have not had any significant solar flares, and the eruptive activity of the plasma filaments has decreased considerably as well. We don't have as many sunspots as we had last week, which explains the drop in flaring, but there are lots of filaments. This sun version of a kid letting go of his balloon and it floating away is about all the filament eruptive action we've had over the last day. Solar wind is very calm at this point, and the same goes for geomagnetic conditions. We're all quiet geomagnetically, just like it's all quiet on the sun. The coronal hole is facing Earth. It began the earthquake watch yesterday as it magnetically connected to our planet, as we discussed in the previous morning show, and its solar wind is due to arrive here this weekend. You can see the plasma filaments around the coronal hole here too. Speaking of earthquakes, kicked off with a 6.5. I know it appears to be very close to Japan, but it actually struck offshore in the waters that are technically off the southernmost Russian islands. Not much damage to report on that one, luckily. Our top science article to share this morning is about Earth's changing magnetic field, or rather, what we might expect to see more of here on Earth within the human body as the pole shift continues and the magnetic protection of our planet weakens. We've been seeing increasing studies done on hypomagnetic field effects on life, and this one does that by taking blood samples of those exposed to that weaker field. Hypomagnetic is the lack of strong fields, while hypermagnetic means in the presence of those strong fields. They found several blood markers of increased stress on the body, and along with it, a decrease in physical condition overall and amplification of fatigue. Subjects were males, aged from their mid-20s to mid-40s. Speaking of the magnetic changes on Earth, our end-of-the-year cap will be a rundown of the most important catastrophism stories of the year, and I've chosen my top five, but I'd love to know some of yours, whether they relate to the Earth changes, the Sun's physics, the solar system changes, love to get your thoughts on that here today. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.